Hello everybody. Welcome back to How to Build a B-1 Bomber. It's been two long days of work, but we got our wings just about finished. Cutting and we got them glassed. What we did yesterday is we did the same thing. We uh, cut all that out on with the machine and we glassed it and put our pill ply over it. And then this morning we woke up and we flipped this block over. And uh, with these alignment pins right here, the machine knew where it was. And with a little help from Butch on the computer, got it all figured out. And this is directly, this is the top, directly under our bottom. And we've already checked it, so it is right. But we got this glassed, and uh, Butch is putting on our last layer of pill ply now. And then tomorrow morning, we're going to fire that machine back up and it's going to go around and it's going to cut it loose. Because there's only about, what, half inch of foam holding it there, Butch? Yes. All the way around this edge. And tomorrow we'll fire up that machine and it'll go around there and cut it. And we'll have a perfect cut. And we're going to cut off the leading edge and we're going to cut off the trailing edge. So when we build our leading edge slats, it'll be molded into our wing and then the slat part will actually be a separate mold and we're going to do that with our flaps too and then we're also going to cut off the wing tips and use balsa it's a little bit easier to get that balsa to the perfect shape we want than that glass and foam but uh... that's where we are there and we've got our uh... pivot holes cut now tomorrow when we cut all this loose we're going to run that machine back through these holes and cut it just perfect for our races, for our bearings. And uh, they'll fit right in these holes. And then for this main spar, Butch has got this all drawn out on his computer. We're going to make a composite spar that sits on the inside. This, we're just going to make skins. Our composite, these, these skins will glue to our composite spar. We're going to have and them races will fit right in them holes and uh, go right on our main spar. We got our other buddy Paul fixing to get that. We're going to take that to Breckenridge and have that made out of aluminum. And we're smoking here, folks. We are, our deadline's coming up quick in October and uh, we're going to make it. But I got my other back part over there and I brought my mold too, my nose piece. And, uh, yeah, that's how tall that thing is. That's awful tall or Butch is awful short. <laughs> I didn't tell you, Butch is only three foot four. <laughs> no, 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 but, uh, we got, we're going to have our cockpit made. Uh, I'm going to leave this piece here while I truck home for a while. And, uh, we're going to have our, our cockpit will be done. And, uh. It's going to look good. I can't wait. Can't wait to see that. But we got old Butch in high gear too. He's, he's ready to see this thing go just as bad as me and every one of you guys out there. But uh, we're trucking on. Now tomorrow, when we get this cut out, we're going to test fit it on our main spar. And we're going to make a movie. But the bad thing is we can't get these movies to load in Texas. So y'all's going to get all these movies at one time, and it's going to seem like we're really fast. But this is actually, this is a lot of work right here. This took, oh, it took longer than five hours today, Butch. It took all day. We started on this at 9 o'clock this morning. And, uh, but we're going to have a perfect set of wings. See, by doing it like this, there's no warp, there's no weave, there's no bow, and this glass will lock everything down solid. And then when we put our leading and trailing edges on, we don't have to worry about none of that. Nothing will be twisted, no bows, and we'll have a really nice set of wings. But um, this is just going to be a short video. I was just showing you what's up. And uh, I think that's it for now. But uh, we'll be back tomorrow, and we'll make another video. Till then, y'all have a good evening. And uh, we will see you back in Butch's shop tomorrow.